Ah, good morning, folks. Well, we've excelled ourselves with park ups again. This one's another cracker, and to top it all, it's free. Right, just step out here and show you this. So, you see, there's a few other vans here. I'll just step out over here. As you can see, we're parked up next to a little lake. And as you can see from the signs, this is dedicated to motorhomes. So we'll just walk down over here. There's kiddies climbing frames. And that white building you can see down beyond the trees there is actually a hotel. If you walk down a little bit further, they have a restaurant. Cisco and I went down there last night. We had an absolutely cracking burger, completely fresh. And you know it's completely fresh when they say the, when they actually ask you, do you want it well done or medium? Huge. Let's take a walk down to the uh, lake front. Saw a couple of pedalos, so you can obviously hire those last night and I don't know if the camera's making them out but over on that tree on the opposite side of the lake are two rather large black crane like birds and I did get my long lens out last night and took a couple of photographs of them so I'll drop those in anybody knows what they are stick it in the comments down below and let us know what they are but no really peaceful night's sleep last night only complaint was, it was red hot. And that's the first night we've had that was really, really uncomfortably hot in the last two weeks. But yeah, this. We are not doing too bad for water park ups. This is absolutely cracking. And as again, as I said, free. Although Cisco and I did our usual thing and Celebrated finding a free park up by going to a restaurant and spending 30 odd marks on food or 30 odd euros on food It's me harking back to me old days in Germany Yeah, cracking little park up this one If I remember I'll try and stick a link to it from park for night It's in a little town called Hasseluna Yeah, brilliant this one Right, plan for today is we're going to get the van scrubbed down and cleaned and sorted and then we're off to go and see Siska's mother in Hardenburg. I said there's a park up opposite her flat so we're going to head there today and maybe do a couple of other things but we'll uh, we'll play that one by ear for the moment. Right so we'll pick you up a little bit later on when we either find something else to do or we get to our next park up. So while we're at this park up we gained a friend. It's this little fella here. This little friend. Yeah. Don't know if he's a stray or if he lives locally. Seems well fed enough. And good morning folks. And we are in Hardenburg. Now we arrived yesterday. Uh, but the reason, main reason we're here is to see Siska's mum, so we didn't do any recording yesterday, we just got the van sorted out and then went over to her flat, which is literally just across the road from where we parked up, which is perfect. A uh, couple of minor issues with this park up, but I'll explain those in just a moment, but other than that, it's not too bad. So, <coughs> step out, get a van park next to us and one over there as well. So you're parked up on the edge of effectively a car park on the edge of the town of Hardenburg. We've got a small pond just over here. Well, I say a small pond, it's quite large. Uh, there is an aviary with lots of buttery guards in it, just over there as well. If you like your waterfowl, there's plenty of those about around here too. Uh, there's loads of geese in the park just over there if, you, if you've got kids. There is a skate park on the far side of that, 
but Cisco and I have been coming for years and it's not particularly busy. So you won't get a great deal of noise from that. Right. Uh, Cisco's mum lives in those flats just on the other side of the road over there. So that's ideal for us. So the issues that we had, uh, I'll nip over to the payment machine and show you that just now. All well and good. If you've got Maestro on your card, we don't. Could have been an issue. Sorry. Here's the payment machine here. Yeah, just press the screen there. You punch in your registration. How many days? You're allowed to stay here for three days maximum, and it's 10 euros a night, so that's 30 euros for the three days we're staying here. There is electric. We won't be using it. There is fresh water which you pay for I believe it's a euro and there is grey waste to drive over grey waste point it says on park for night that there is black waste here uh, there isn't so we're going to have to be slightly frugal with the use of the cassette over the next couple of days whilst we're here uh, the, the way we got around the payment is the uh, very nice gen German gentleman in the van that was park that's parked next to us basically used his card and I gave him the euros in exchange so we're all sorted but just a word of warning it's maestro only on this park up for the for the payment machine uh, what we'll do is when we go to any of the park ups in Holland we'll check that out and uh, see if there's any any other issues with that so just uh, over the far side of there yes another water park up is the Vecht we're going for a cycle ride around that later on today. Uh, other than that, plenty of bird noise. Very, very quiet. Yeah, there's a cycle path that runs along the Vecht over the far side there. I right, said so we're going to go down there on our bikes later. Now, under normal circumstances, unless we were visiting Siska's mum, I don't think we'd have used this park up, but other than that, fine. So, like I said, what we're going to do over the, over the course of the next couple of days is uh, Siska and I are going to go for a bike ride today. Tomorrow we're going to take a walk up into Hardenburg, get some shopping. And then we're going to go to the north of Holland and then probably come back here. So we'll catch you guys on the bike ride later on. Right, we're out on our bike ride. Found a nice bench to have a sit down for five minutes and a slurp of our juice that we brought with us. And if I quickly spin this round, if I can remember how to do it on here. Right, up in this tree, it says, if I can actually see it on the screen, it says Orlox Monument, which basically means War Monument in the trees here somewhere. So what we'll do is we will dive in to the trees and see if I can find it. And here it is. Uh, let's have a look at that. 16th of February, 1945 to 1995. Three names. So let's, so. On the 16th of February 1945, 14.30 hours, an American B-17 bomber came down. It's got the names of the crew, and three of the crew lost their lives. Yeah, very interesting. Right, had a nice spot of lunch, now it's time to head back. See if I can maintain the battery life this time. So we decided to take a walk into Harnerberg because we like it in here and we need to do a bit of shopping and we like walking around the town. But it's not something that you see very often as you walk into a reasonably large town. Well. And if I just move the camera over here, hold on, let's see if I can point it at these little, little piggies. 
Now that's not something that you see every day in town. <laughs> also, while we're here, and my bad, I forgot to do it. I was going to get some um, poppy crosses because there are Commonwealth war graves here from, I believe it's one or two RAF slash Canadian Air Force bomber crews that came down at the back end of the war here. And here we are. Bomber crew, air gunner, air bomber, pilot, or Royal Air Force, Royal Canadian Air Force there as well. A whole line of them. I must remember to do that one year, get some poppies from the uh, British Legion website and place them the next time we're here. Right, we're going to continue and head into town and uh, probably have a bit of cake and a coffee. Yeah, it'd definitely be rude not to. Uh, good morning, folks. Okay, uh, time to de depart Hardenburg for the first time because we will be coming back. Uh, the plan was always to come here for the three days that you're allowed to stay on this, this particular spot, go away, do a bit of exploring, then come back and spend another couple of days with Siska's mum before we start working our way to the port to go back to the UK. So what we're going to do this morning is um, we're going to dump the grey waste here because we can and then we're going to head north to Friesland which is somewhere I've never been uh, and we've got something a little bit different planned for this morning. That is if we can get parked. Yeah I would imagine there'll be parking there so we'll have a look at it when we get there so hopefully uh we'll pick you guys up when we get to this something that's a little bit different see you then 